What is up guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA of the playoffs of 2021. Right now, we got a leading for you. Los Angeles Clippers are in the lead 3-2. And the Utah Jazz are seemingly finding themselves out if they wanted to take the win or get trashed out. That means this is their last chance to make the win or go home. So, Jazz and Clippers, they're back at, they're back at LA. We're about to do this part again once more and find out what will it look like in this part so let's see who will win the sixth game and episode 46 is out top player of the year vote you don't want to miss this one out if you're looking for something for out of positions or other players and if you can't miss this one out at any neighborhood events you're going to bring something out quite even better before 2021 what was the last team the Suns appeared in the NBA Finals? 1996, 2003, 1993, or 2006? Double the rep, double the fun. Next weekend. You make your selection if you're right or wrong. So if you're looking for a special uh, the appreciation shooter, you might do some global if you're looking for something else, right from the cages to another one to find it in the beach. Other ones as well. So you don't want to miss this one out. When what year did the Bucks win their first NBA championship? It's another chance for you to earn double rep. That's it. I'm not sure if I got it right, so nope, I didn't get it right. Make sure you get into the neighborhood event before before the next one will appear on episode 47. And this is the busy freeway that we are looking for. And now the fans are heading it back to way in Southern California of Los Angeles. And this one is going to be a coupling of the battle of the beginning to start this off in game six. So we're going to see what happens. Use DA. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five on five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. Thanks, David. And, and remember being the Rudy Gobert is the man defenseman we see. Here's a look at the rest of us starting lineups. We're taking a look at all the five players ready to go on the field, on the court. And the LA fans are going to start going wild. And they're going to be doing it all alone. Tyron Liu and Quinn Snyder. This is it. Can the Jazz come back or Clippers win it all and put the upset? Here we go. The sixth game is on. Here's Jackson. This will be a bounce pass to Paul George. Last time it was Reggie Jackson that pulled it up here for this game. Not too much to play here, but PG-13 was the uh, New Balance player of the game. The last game that he had done in game five. That was him behind him, but that is more when he can officially try to pick it up. That's his more accomplishment that he will do it for good. And right now, we'll see what happens if there's a chance. We got a dunk here for Donovan Mitchell right on Nicholas Batu. Jackson covering it out to Kawhi Leonard. I haven't seen Kawhi Leonard making the shots of a three, but his first one doesn't hit it in time. That will be a miss. Donovan Mitchell only first scored two baskets in this game. Lines go bare. Gobert to Conley. Conley up for the two. This one's missed out. Moore Sr. with the rebound. George outside. Didn't hit the three. And it missed again once more. But Donovich on Mitchell. It missed off the target. Nothing on that run. And right now, Boy Leonard. Oh! Three! Nope. I got you. Yeah. Ha ha. Here's your number two look here for Kawhi Leonard. It's not the lead. We got a first bucket here for Kawhi Leonard. As they now have it tied up. And there's the number that was on here. Number two. Mitchell. Oh, he just got dumped here. Nothing to spare that time. 
Here's Jackson. He passes over to George. And the Jazz are trying to stop the Clippers if they wanted to keep the win right on the money. Kawhi Leonard inside. Knocked away. No foul called on the Jazz. On the other hand, it's Mike Conley with the layup. It's hard for him to shoot, but this is more what he realized that he could try to stop that time. Jackson, outside. Paul George. Now the help over here will be Morris Sr. In the paint, George makes the drive. He hits it in. He got his first bucket. 15 left to go, Donovan Mitchell cutting in, and he's fouled by Paul George, his first. This will be a bit of clean block of the defenseman that Tyrone Liu wants Paul George to keep an eye on, but it hit the elbow. So that will be a leavable, leavable mark for the first team foul on the Clippers. Two shots will be on Donovan Mitchell. the first one and talk about Donovan Mitchell's career his most point might be on the average what he was looking at but his timeout he doesn't really care about what he really wants to do and also he can try that hard to make it look life look better than never before his second free throw is good Donovan Mitchell reaches up with a number two pointer Paul George, he passes over to Greggy Jackson. Jackson, George for three. He missed again, and the defenseman has got him again. Conley pass to Mitchell. That's a good pass by Mike Conley. He's got his first assist. Jackson, over to George. George finds go two. And that's a pretty good defender on Rudy Gobert. And we got Bogdanovich. He was able to lick it off. Conley for three. No good on that one. And a two-on-one break. It's Paul George. Takes his second bucket of here for tonight. There's Royce O'Neal. No score for him yet. He passes along to Mitchell. George on the cover. Screen on O'Neal. Over for two. No good for the Jacks as Mitchell misses one. The pass was broken up. It's Bogdanovich with the steal. Bogdanovich has him. Three pointer. That's good for Mike Conley. Timeout called on the LA Clippers. They're down by nine. And now they gotta like switch this up. They gotta find a man to look open. They look on the offense, and this is what they really need to try to hit it off on that run. Since I have no other player to just look for outside, I, I gotta I gotta start figuring it out. Pick and rolls I need to do here. I need some couple players that I need to give it a try. This may not be the time I need to give it a go. So we're under three minutes right now. The new change up here for the Clippers and the Jazz. We have his all five players checking out. In the corner is Leonard. Bogdanovich on the point four with Joe Ingles, Derek Favors, and of course we have his Jordan Clarkson. On the other hand, it's Kawhi Leonard in the point forward with Luke Kennard, Ivica Zubac, and it's Mann. And then on the other hand is Roshan Mondo. Mitchell is on point guard, so he will switch off from uh, Mike Conley. Mitchell looking around the open, open player. That floater is good. That's Mitchell increases the score by 10 points. And the Clippers are having eight point advantage. Kennard, right to Rojan Rondo. He finds Kawhi Leonard. He goes over Bogdanovich, shot's good! First bucket for the claw. That will be another one 
already uh, put a switch up in point four, but it's the second bucket. We're under two minutes here for the first quarter. Here's uh, Clarkson. That drive is going to be inside, and it's good. 1.39 left to go. Zubox finding a pass to Rojan Rondo with the step back. Fade off. It's not that way. It was a late, wide open look. It's not even turning out that right. Mitchell! And it's Joe Ingles with the assist. Clippers trail by nine. Zubox finds Kennard. Kennard looking over his political island. Screen is coming in for Rebecca Zubox. What a good play here for Man. He will get his first one. Last minute to go. Now the man need to go back in. Clarkson against Rojan against Rojan Rondo. He goes inside, and Clarkson has done it again. He's making his score, making a good come to life here. Kennard. Try to reach it out, try to stop on him. And Kennard, he's not slowing down. He's got his first bucket too. 21 to 14 to score. I don't see Chuck doing a uh, flossy. Nobody knows what he was going to be doing, but this is very not hard. Clarkson, try to reach it, and it's going to go inside. Clarkson does it again. Rondo, deep pass to Kawhi Leonard. That time he finds Rojan Rondo. Kennard, up, three! This will be a first three-pointer for the Clippers. Seal on Kennard, first turnover on the Jazz. And a claw, finishes the scoop. No foul, called on the Jazz on Joe Ingles. That was tough. Three seconds to go. With Mitchell up, he makes that shot and the Clippers will end it off with the score, 25 to 19 in the first quarter. Well, a good start here for the Utah Jazz, but the Clippers might find himself out to get to the second quarter when we come back. This game. It's, it's a physical game, obviously, but you know a lot of it is mental. Um, so you know, just you know, making sure um, you're thinking while you're out there is you know one of the big things for me. Uh, one one of the things I've kind of learned since I've been in the, in the league. His first score for Justin Newton for the college of this team to NBA is not the only one here he has played, but this is what he needs to know when he gets there better. So Luke Kennard, not the only player that he was ever going to play, but this might be his time to get it shined up. Leonard in the corner, finding Rojan Rondo to Kennard. Pass to Zubox. Zubox, Rondo for three. His first three-pointer missed. It's Mitchell on the upper carry. Try to help out with the fade shot. Missed off the target. It's Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. Rajon Rondo trying to pick it up here with another switch over on motion. Kawhi Leonard looking over the floor. He finds Ivica Zubox. Over Ingles. Shot very early. Mitchell on the fast break. It's covered up by Ingles, and it shot's good. It's Rojan Rondo with the foul. This will be their second team foul on LA Clippers. Joe Ingles got his first rebound, and he's got his first bucket. He will go back to the free throw line to shoot one. With only 5.50 left to go, they are trying to extend up the lead by 31. Derek Favors is out already, and Rudy Gobert is checked back in. He does not need one. He missed that shot. And he only has the two, just like Kawhi Leonard, but has four points on his first two. It's the number on the back. Now Paul George on the outside. The try, shots in there. Paul George, six points. 5.30 left to play here in the first, first half. 
Conley looking over as Rudy Gobert. Back to Conley. He shoots it up over Reggie Jackson. He will take another two point ahead. Reggie Jackson able to help him out the team with a lost motion. Four senior on the corner. In the wing. George and now on the wing. That's going to be a tough shot, but he makes that one in. That's going to be set. This will be the seven points of the night in game six. Now here's Clarkson on Kennard. Now it's Conley looking over his O'Neal. A solid D on Marcus Morris Sr., another first rebounder for the night. And it's Conley with the steal. What a bad pass they had. Conley, right to Gobert. Gobert, Clarkson for three. Sometimes Clarkson doesn't hit that three. Get on. Three! Ball! George! This is his first assist here. And now with four minutes, it's a defense. And all the hands are raising the pressure in the first half. George on it, but he was fouled. Sometimes, like, you know this is what's very hard for him to uh, settle. Sometimes you want to just take your time and just go for the steal, but sometimes you have that on late, so you don't want to just mess it up on the players here if you keep it up. So don't let this happen to you. Screen on Gobert, but doesn't worry. With three seconds, Conley has it. So it looks like the defenders are giving up. So we're calling a different timeout and a switch in offensive possession on the design. With only 3.34 left to play, new changes are coming up after this. One change here for Kennard as Patrick Beverly is checked in. And the other hand here, as the Jazz keeps it up here alive to just try to fix it up with the defensive on the run to look over. Right now, here's Patrick Beverly. He's only gotten himself a three-pointer here tonight. Deep three, make it in! That's Patrick Beverly with the first assist in this game. It's 33-29. Conley against Jackson. Larson trying to come in the paint. Finding is O'Neal. Oh, it's Beverly with the block. What a great play here for defender. No foul given up. Here's Batum giving away to Jackson. Over on the right-hand side, left hand is Patrick Beverly. He only made his first assist, finding himself, and it's tipped away. It's Clarkson with the steal. Here's a two. Conley with the layup drive, and that's good. Jordan Clarkson receiving a second steal of this game. Another turnover, and Beverly, no Jackson, making that score. He's got his first bucket here. I'd like to see that one go so far. Jordan Clarkson against Patrick Beverly. Now Jackson is able to cover him. Up over on Gobert. On the two with the shot. It's missed away. Reggie Jackson with the assist with the rebound. Back to Jackson. Two minutes in the first half of this game. And the two over on Gobert, and it didn't work out that well. Great D here. Jordan Clarkson against Morris Senior. Looking south perfectly here. Up and over. Shot no good. Rebounded by Paul George. It's Jackson on Beverly. And what a great pass for Ricky Jackson to pick it up on. Right now, Beverly has gotten his first bucket here. And a Jackson with the assist. Timeout, Utah. 120 to go. It's 35 to 33 score. Chuck is just looking better. I haven't seen the mascot doing it. Maybe there might be another one to give it a five. 
Number two, I'm going to sell them out. I'm bringing back the Vika Zoo Box. The brand I will have is, um, I will have is, uh, I don't know, I don't know which one. Bo Island, I'm not sure what he's up to, up to yet. I was looking for him and see what he has done so far. There may not be anything about Bo Island. I'm not sure what happened to him. So, uh, I don't know if you guys spotted anybody, but here's Paul White Leonard, I see. So right now, um, Leonard, I'll be subbing in for Paul George. And then, uh, and then I will, um, you know, Paul George, we're going to keep an eye on him. We don't know what's going to happen. Rebound, we're going to limit it, and everything else will be the same. Not too much happening around here, but there's a new change here for the Jazz. Bogdanovich checked in for Joe Ingles. And then it's, and then it's uh, Mitchell's checking in for uh, Mitchell checking in for uh, for O'Neal as Derek Favors is checked in. And here's McDonavich with a tough shot. Gobert with it. Oh, he was able to get there at that one time. He just had it back. Under a minute left here. Here's Man. Off by Rojan Rondo. Up an overhead, back to Mann. And Morris Senior deciding to take a screen. Drive, and he's fouled. Derek Favors receiving his first personal at, on Utah. First team foul has occurred, and Terrence Mann will head to the free throw line, shooting two. This will be his first trip in game six. I don't see anything going on right now, but uh, you, yeah, I don't see anything. First shot for a man's good. Not sure what he was thinking about it next, but uh, you'll see. You'll see. So Patrick Beverly's checked out. What a play. He's not a best man, man here to get the defender, but uh, that's hard for him to give him a give him a quick better on that run. Now Rojan Rondo on Conley. He pass up to Mitchell. Only 30 seconds left here. Mitchell flies high, and that shot's good. Mitchell is adding another two-pointer here to score up even bigger. Man, scooting in. Shot and one! Just received his first personal, and that was a great solid work for the Clippers to pick it on. And we know what was happening here on Paul George with the run. You could definitely tell that this layup drive and one. That was just a tough move on the defender and really got into a play. McDonald's receiving his first, so he has to be very, very cautious to. Uh, to try to keep the man away from it without being knocked out. The man has done it. So far, they're down by one. Here's Mitchell. Try to pick it up. Over it again. His shot's good. But Donovan, uh, I mean, Donovan Mitchell really got to want to spread things out again to just stop them. Rondo up, three-pointer, not in the target. That would be Mitchell. And his shot's good. And that's it. This first half is done. That will be 43 to 38 to score in the first half. Second half will begin after the halftime show of this report. Let's go to David Aldridge on the sideline as we see here. David. Hey Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we gotta play better defense second half uh, because we don't know if we're gonna keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see who can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. 
Thanks, CA. We'll be right back here after this. So please stand by. And if you're tuning in for the second half, we'd like to welcome you back at the Staples Center. And who's on fire? Donovan Mitchell. I can definitely tell what he was definitely thinking about. All the play, all the commentators here on this sideline are saying that Mitchell is making his way to want to go for Game Seven. 22 points, 10 shots made. Like, wow! I don't believe what he was gonna do next. So it looks like he has to find himself out if they wanted to keep it going. We'll see if they try to avoid Game try to avoid the win from the Clippers and head to games number seven if they wanted to keep it up. Right now, this is game number six. If they wanted to give this all, they have to. Seeing it up, it's Batum with the rebound. Hitting a, hitting a rebounding point will be uh, Nick Batum. More senior trying to give him a chance here. Ricky Jackson with this finish. Solid D on Mike Conley. Well done. Mitchell shoots again. 24 points for Mike. My my hot player here, Donovan Mitchell. He is just not even kicking it up. And he's fouled. Rudy Gobert is late on the defender with the block that shot. And that was just what happened here. You just go wrong from the other side of it. He says, nope, I think this is what Rudy Gobert has to pay. There is what you can feel that Nick Batum was picking that dunk, and Rudy Gobert with a late carry. First foul. One shot left for Nick Batum. He's trying to pick up one if they wanted to keep it going. Batum. Makes a free throw. Utah leading by six. Conley trying to pass along to Rudy Gobert. He must not need it that week. At that least, Jackson is just really wanting to help the teammate out if they wanted to keep it up. Senior to George. The two with the screen. Two, back to George. George making another way around. Jackson firing a three. Three! Jackson! Paul George! They're down by five. Conley against Jackson. No screen on Rudy Gobert yet. And Conley making another pass, and it's another shot for Rudy Gobert. They are explosive. Kawhi Leonard. And he's fouled by McDonovich. Second personal foul here. Second team foul on Utah. Now he has just made two mistakes here. One in the first half, one in the second half. 503 left. Kawhi Leonard taking two shots at the free throw line. Let's see what he has his courage on the game. It's the first one down. New change here for the Clippers as Paul George is checked out and Luke Kennard is checked in. But no switch yet for the Utah Jazz at this point. 503 left. We're seeing what is going to happen. The second free throw is good for Kawhi Leonard. He's got eight points in this game. Now we're down to five minutes. Mike Conley against Jackson. Making a switch here, trying to get away from the defender. Defensive breakdown, watch out. They have to be careful. McDonovich, Conley up. Three pointers good, it's McDonovich with the assist. Right now Mike Conley is on a streaking run. Meanwhile, Nick Batum, oh, Rudy Gobert just snapped it. And there is the question, it says, no shot, it's mine now. Mike Conley to McDonovich. McDonovich finding his O'Neal. And a 
stopping run here on Kawhi Leonard. Nick for two. Senior for three on outside. Three! Time out, Utah. Jazz! 4-9 to go. 54-49 to score. They are just trying to keep it going. Right now, subbing out will be more senior. I will have his Patterson up. I'm going to see what he can do. Now, more senior, not the only player that wants to give it a shot. But I'm just switching Kawhi Leonard to point forward. As a new player I need to check in will be... Oh, no. Maybe maybe a new change here, as I'm not sure if I if I had it right. Yeah, I'm gonna have Patterson in. Core Leonard, stay stick with it, and I'm bringing Serge Ibaka to try it out. We'll see what he can do. Here on that run, so as the Jazz has picked up a new changes here. Mitchell, McDonavich, O'Neal, and Gobert checked out favors. McDonavich moves to point forward with Jordan Clarkson and Joe Ingles. And on the other side, we have as Patterson as a Serge Ibaka. Trying to work our way around it, but that is much, much what they really done. Here comes Serge Ibaka, and this will be his first time to do it for game six. Let's see what he has done. Jackson tried to pick up a lane. Up again. Shots good. Derek Favors received his second personal foul. Thirteen foul on Utah. Jackson heading to the free throw line to shoot one. And three thirty-four remaining. I'm sure this isn't the only one that I'm not on the pro side yet. That's what I do. And a free throw for Jackson is nothing to compare that out. Free throw in comparison, working really well for the Clippers, but the, the Jazz doesn't have anything. All right now, here's Clarkson on Kennard. Kennard trying to go right after him, and oh, get off of me! No way to stop on the player of Jordan Clarkson, the sixth man of the year. He may get another two this run. Meanwhile, it's Patterson with a dunk. And with that play, you didn't see that one before. That didn't really stop on. We would have seen Serge Ibaka with that dunk. But it wasn't that hard, hard enough to just run by. Here's Clarkson on favors, finally. And a screen is on here to attack it. And we got a foul. It's Serge Ibaka. It's first. Another team foul here on the LA Clippers. Another two free throw coming up will be Mike Conley. He has never made his time to hit the free throwers, hit the free throw line. But it looks like the foul is giving a trouble for each player on the Clippers. Jazz is like killing it. Keep on the run. It's the first one down. We only have made one. Number two could be the answer. His second free throw is good. They're up again and they get over. 2.50 to go. Patterson, try to roll it outside, finding his Jackson. Nobody open. But the three-pointer was missed again. Clarkson trying to attack it. And McDonavich able to knock that out of the air and trying to make it silent to the home team of the Clippers. Timeout has occurred again on the Clippers. 2.31 to go. This is what they really wanted to deserve at all. 
Summon off Jackson will be Rojan Rondo. I need something to uh, cover it over. And we gotta like find that. We gotta watch the man on Mike Conley. And uh, I think Rojan Rondo has to take it off. Tight. Uh, keep it auto. Um, any auto, anything. Like uh, auto again. Go over. Hedge. Go hedge. No hedge. Post. Auto. It's, everything is auto. That's it. And then we changing here for the for the Clippers and for the and for the Jazz. Mike Conley is checked out as Mitchell comes back in. Rajon Rondo. What a D here for Derek Rose. Derek Favors. I meant. Clarkson up for the two. A nice stop here on Luke Kennard as another miss occurs. Kennard! Three! AS 13! They're trying to answer it back right away, and right now we only have to under like two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Clarkson, oh, he almost calls an offensive foul. But this didn't want the offense. Yep, we call that one. Another look on the drive for Jordan Clarkson. No offensive foul occurred. Canara. And he was blocked out. Recovered the ball. And here's a screen coming. Here comes the Baca. Shot. No good. Jordan Clarkson. He's helping his team try to pick up a pace here. The three-pointer didn't work out for him. It didn't work at all. Boy, let her open. Three! 11 points. They're down by four. Carson against Kennard. Screen, try to keep around him. Oh, and the rejection is on Abaka. Favors, Bogdanovich, three-pointer, no good. We got a first block here for the Clippers as Serge Ibaka has won. That turned out to be great that last time. Patterson definitely really loved him to check it out. Marjan Rondo, screen again on Patterson. Rolling over, Clarkson, shot's good. They're bound down by two. Patterson's got four points under 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Clarkson against Kennard. And he goes right over to Favors. Favors to Rondo. Mitchell for three. No shot. I never missed by Utah Jazz. Ibaka trying to wick it around on Roshan Rondo. Trying to tie it up. Yes, it's good. It's good. Kennard is pushing a pressure. Another foul on Mitchell. And another change here before the third quarter ends. Rondanovich and Favors are checked out as O'Neal and Gobert are checked in. Meanwhile, on the Clipper side, we have all five players checking out. And Luke Kennard switches to point guard as man George Morris Sr. and Batum are checked in. Might take a one point lead. He has that down. Kennard's got 16 points in this game. So it looks like Mitchell will have to stop uh, from here. With a three-pointer, no good. That will be the end of the third quarter. It's 65-64. The Clippers are making a comeback here in the second half, but they have to try to close it out in the fourth quarter. Will they win or Jazz head to game seven in a 3-3 sudden death? A fantastic performance. How about we check out the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Like the neighbors, State Farm is there. And I'm checking out that one before. We just seen that. Ricky Jackson, I am. Uh, yeah, it was very good, actually. I know that Luke Kennard was doing it for him. He's doing well. Thanks for joining us here for the sixth game here of the Clippers versus the Jazz. 
And if you want to check out for real highlights, I will, the video is right in, right down below here, as I have the card up for you guys to watch it on this highlight. So make sure you watch it right now, anytime you like. You don't have to do it. And the fourth quarter, we start Mitchell. Oh, he just made that dunk. He slammed it hard. Kennard was thinking like, uh, there is no way for me to just do it. How do I do good? There isn't anything choice. Great quick pass by Paul George. That's Batum's second bucket here. Now it's again Mitchell against Kennard. Mitchell trying to extend it up. And he does it again. Rest of his team has 40. Mitchell has 28. He's trying to come in to attack it. Luke Kennard again. And he's short. Mitchell has received a second personal foul. As Kennard going back to the free throw line a third time in a row. That is just way bigger than he expected to see here. Tyrone Lou wasn't thinking that Luke Kennard would make his adjustment appearance. But he wouldn't tell them to just try to make some changes. Here's two shots for Kennard. That's one. And we change here. Joe Ingles checked out. Mike Conley's checked back in. They are now changing it back into the starting five. And another one as Paul George is moving off to small shooting guard as Mann's checked in to switch it off. The second free throw for Matt Kennard is good. 20 points for Kennard. Eric setting it up by four. Mike Conley up again. Oh, it's Batum with the block! What a play! No foul here. Oh, Gobert got a piece of it. And he just said that and to, to Batum and just said, ball is the claw. You can't mess me up. I'm the biggest guy I cannot face against anyone like KD or KD. Nobody. It's Paul George to Kennard. We're only about 5.15 left to play here in the fourth quarter then. Man, another screen help here, Morris Senior. Oh, it was turning out late, and who had that block? I think that was Royce O'Neal or, uh, or uh, Rudy Gobert, but now it turned out to be a lead and changeable. Mitchell gets 30 and nine for Paul George. George for three, makes it in. They are back up in the spot and the crowd is trying to stand loud. Making it proud, Jazz trying to pick up the run. Mitchell again, he does it already. Timeout on the Clippers with only 4.31 remaining. Mitchell is attacking so hard on a player. They want the notes to keep adding it up. And now I'm setting out Kennard and bringing Ricky Jackson back in. Plus, I will have to do this tough out man. I'm going to bring Kawhi Leonard back in for the starting five. I'm going to just go ahead and change another look here and do the flow. And then I'm going to need some limiting and push the pace a little bit more. Nope, we are going to roll. Everybody has to do that. Don't miss out the new balance player of the game. We'll announce the player once the next timeout occurs on each team. So you don't want to miss that one out. Oh, Reggie Jackson. What a, what a slight move he had. He's doing really well. He's got two point lead. Jackson's got 10. And Conley having 10, maybe not enough. Conley inside. He just didn't want to get into it. He just tied it up again. 22, 10 for Jackson. That's uh, his number. Not, not really, anyway. Like my colleague did. George again. 
Screen number two. George gets a little floppy, but he just had it off. Tina on the Jazz. Priest 46 remaining. It gets 78 76. Really tough look on the battle here, but this one might be stopping in between here. The little change up might not be covered enough to make them helpful enough to just look it over. Well, it was very good here to see that top. I'm going to need to do some uh, series here. Crash the offensive floor. This is what we are looking at. And let's check out the comparison here for each team. We have 23 rebounds for the Jazz, 18 rebounds for the Clippers, 16 assists here for the Jazz, 22 assists on the Clippers, 5 blocks here on the Utah Jazz, only 1 block on the Clippers, 1 turnover for Jazz, and 5 turnovers on the Clippers. And nothing else did turn out here. Free throws, 100% good. For the Clippers, no changing up for the Sutton. Now let's check out the uh, New Balance player of the game. Uh, it's on its way, so don't miss out that time. Clarkson is checked out, and McDonovich is checked back in to make a starting five much better. Conley able to make the transition with another layup. No crash offensive board here. Mike Conley has 24, big range is four. On the two. He takes a tough look on here. Rudy Gobert trying to stop it, and a lead is Mitchell. He has it all. Looks like Mitchell is able to pick up his pace and why to stop before game seven. Jackson, three! 13 points for Jackson. We're down to three minutes left. You're up by one. Jackson had a lot of points out there. He was going to play back for the Pistons, but he never got a chance to do it anyway. But he'll be playing back soon to do another one for the Clippers. But sometimes he wants to play against with the Pistons, so we'll see what happens that time. So don't mess anything up, I would do. Short miss on a shot will be Morrow's Marcus Moore Sr. That scoop. It was Mitchell. It was tough for them to score. Kawhi Leonard trying to pick up another run. He's trying to work his way around. It's a stop and go. Finally, look, but two. Back to Kawhi Leonard. Screen on Morris Sr. Two on one. That's good. Morris Sr. receiving five points assist by the claw of Kawhi Leonard. And Donovan Mitchell really turning it out with a double man defender. But Donovan in the lead, and he got a two point off the mark in the lead. The Clippers are trying to trail up. Oh, not even before Paul George really had it out there. We're trying to see if they can pull up a Martin defending on the upset. And Donovan Mitchell really seemingly had Paul George was a PG-13 maker. He really didn't work that at all. Nope, you never liked that one. As Donovan Mitchell receiving 38 points, 28 in the paint. And now the two calls timeout. With under a minute and 30 seconds to go. It's an 87-86 lead for the Jacks. As we are just trying to pick it up here to find out if Serge Ibaka can try that one again. I'm not sure if he's just trying to pick it up on that one. But that is very hard for him to just sell things on the board. Very hard for him to pick it up. And that will push the pace. He needs to get better food. I'm seeing if Reggie Jackson can just try to push the play through here and they wanted to give it from here. And now it's time to present the New Balance player of the game, and this one goes right to Donovan Mitchell. He's a hot, he's a hot hands guy. Look at this. He has, his hands are hot. That's why he's shooting many times. It is time on third, it doesn't really happen to me. If he really wants to just 
try to look out for the win, but there is much more that you can understand for him to try to win it. All right, that should do. Let's see what happens here. And Paul George trying to speak it up. With a lead, it changes back to back. Paul George, three. Teams have one timeout remaining. Wow. And you know what this could be. Once it comes down to a last minute, you don't know what happens. Clippers or Jazz. You don't know. You don't know what's happening to you. You don't have, you have no idea what's going to happen to you. You keep the man a man, you don't want to leave it out. the pick and rolls here. Let's make sure nobody has nothing out already. Looks like they're just trying to uh, help him out already. No changes yet. Clarkson against George. Trying to manage his way around and he's just trying to go up. Oh, it's a backup! Oh, we have another one here! It's more senior with the rebound. And Jackson able to carry with the last minute left. Senior and a sending lead, but it doesn't hit that pro. The players are just having trying to calm it down. He must get a piece of that. It's Royce O'Neal coming back in. He never scored his big time. I haven't seen him scoring on that run. Paul George is seemingly he's getting tired. But Kawhi Leonard trying to help out for Paul George to make on that run. It's Serge Ibaka over, over Gobert, and he's fouled. Rudy Gobert has lost his streak, and Ibaka will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. This will be his first trip in game six. He will try to push it up with a two two-point lead. They stop the clock at 31 seconds. This could be a chance to break it up, to break the, to break the chain. He does. He makes the first one. He might be able to hit the second if they wanted to extend it. Let's see what he does. I know that Serge Ibaka was playing with the uh, uh, Toronto Raptors. That was his longest time. But it doesn't work for him, so uh, he's missing his Canadian team, and he is in America. So welcome back to Ibaka. We haven't seen him play here in the playoffs the last time he had. The last time out calls for Utah Jazz. 26.9 seconds remaining. It looks like uh, only one timeout will be on LA Clippers if they want to just keep it right from the facing line. So it's a well play out there. I'm not just enough. I'm not sure if this is going to uh, keep going it for me. If I really want to give it a go. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure uh, I will have all that player checking in now. Not just too much here. Let's see if uh, let's see if the two is going to be uh, ready to come back. Eighty two will be okay. Yeah, well played for Ibaka. He's done. Got two blocks ahead. And, but for Marcus Cousins, well, he never does that anyway. So I'm so sorry for him. He would have been playing really well, but this didn't really work out that hard. Starting five. And Clarkson trying to work his way around. Trying to come up a tie here. O'Neal trying to look around here. Over Senior. He didn't hit that one. And we got a personal foul called on Jordan Clarkson his first. Paul George hitting two free throws. 
two on two. Clock is wasting down here with 13.4 seconds left to play. This wasn't that it's time for him to just go for a run. Makes the first. He hits the second. And they will try to pick up the extended lead on this series. He does. Paul George receiving 22 points. Last possession on the Jazz. And now with the three, will not be enough for him to pick it up. It's down by one. And that's going to be another foul on Jordan Clarkson. 5.3 left. And that will be the end of it. They take on the run, and this is going to take the advantage for Paul George to pick up another two point. shot left. If he makes it, it's over. There you go. Paul George made that one with the last possession for the Clippers. And one more. Will they tie it? No! That's it! The Clippers puts an upset on Utah Jazz. 95 to 92. They win the series here, four to two. They're heading on to take on against the Phoenix Suns in a Western Conference Finals. We'll see them next time for this part of a game. Time to go to courtside of David Eldridge. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Why you all had to lead most of the game. So what's the difference playing from ahead as opposed to playing from behind? Uh, I mean, you know, when you're behind, it's tough. You gotta use a lot of energy to get back in the lead, and then it's just hard to, to keep that, uh, you know, energy to, throughout the whole game. But um, when you're up, um, sometimes you get a little bit comfortable, and the other team is, you know, fighting, have that energy, trying to push back. So you just have to stay level-headed when we're out and just keep moving. Appreciate your time, man. After a hard win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dean. All right, DA. Thank you for watching of the second round of the Western Semifinals of Jazz vs. Clippers. If you'd like to see them in real, make sure you go to NBA.com or you could find it on YouTube here for the highlights in between the playoff session of Jazz vs. Clippers. Games 1 through 6 for this part, and this is what we had here on 2K21-2. So, we like to say thank you for joining us, and our last game was left with the Bucks vs. Nets in Eastern Conference semifinals of this run. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as V. NBA Playoff Dial, and we'll see you all next time for Suns vs. Clippers in Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. See you next time. Good night in L.A. You probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms as gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.